Okay, this is Refueling Your Faith, and uh, we're now on YouTube, and so I want to explain what Refueling Your Faith is. Refueling the Faith is just an opportunity to encourage you through the Word of God so that you continue to walk according to your faith. And the Word is clear that uh, our faith comes from hearing and hearing the Word of God. So every Wednesday, I want to break down a passage of Scripture that God has given me and give you a nugget of the truth that God has given me to encourage you in that day and to keep you uh, committed to walking this journey with Christ so that you can experience the abundance and be a part of uh, building the kingdom of God here on earth. And so today, I want to talk to you about the Lord is the one who goes with you. The Lord is the one who goes with you. I find this passage or we find this passage in Deuteronomy and Moses is speaking to the people of Israel. If you've read the story of or the account of Israel, you know that Israel was supposed to go into the promised land, but Jacob and um, but some spies that went to uh, foresee or look at the land, came back to report in the book of Numbers that uh, these people are huge. These people are, are like grasshoppers and we're, we'll, we will be like grasshoppers before them. And because of that, they were discouraged and therefore they did not go into the promised land. And for 40 years, God had them to wander the wilderness until that generation had passed away. And so now we find in Deuteronomy 31 that the new generation has arisen and he is now ready for them to walk into the promised land. And so he speaks, Moses speaks to the people and he says that um, in Deuteronomy 31 and 6, he encourages them and says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or tremble at them for the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or tremble at them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. So he's encouraging the people. Yes, you're going into an unknown land. And in fact, they knew that there would be enemies as they crossed through the Jordan that they would encounter to go into the land that God had promised them. But Moses is saying to them, don't be like your uh, parents before you. Do not be afraid. Be strong and be courageous and do not be afraid and do not tremble. Um, and sometimes that's how we feel when we're walking in uncharted territory, when we're trying to manage situations in our life that are difficult and we know that we're going to walk through difficult times. You're on a new job, your children, uh, your marriage, your uh relationships, your, I mean, fill in the blank. I'm sure there's things that you are walking through. But remember, the Lord is saying to you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not tremble at those situations that you will encounter. And this is why. The Lord is the one who is with you. It's not that you should not be courageous, that you should be courageous or you should be strong because of uh, someone who's walking with you or some the, uh, the amount of money that you have because you are so smart. The reason why you can be strong and be courageous in situations that are uncomfortable is because the Lord is with you. The Lord is the one who is with you. I like that because it reminds us the Lord is the one. He's the one that makes us confident in those situations. And this is why, because he will never leave you or forsake you. Or the scripture uh, says, that he will go with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. He will not fail you or forsake you. And when I looked at the uh, meaning of those words, he will not fail you. He will not loosen his grip with you. Uh, he will not uh, forsake you. He will not just leave you. He will not abandon you. And you know how you have felt when people have abandoned you in your relationships. Things have gotten too hard or uh, they cannot handle how you for whatever reason, you've been abandoned. You understand the depth of pain that that causes. Well, Lord, the Lord will not abandon you. He will tighten his grip around you. He will walk with you through those difficult situations. Psalm 23 says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Uh, God is a God who's going to stick with you. He's also the God who has the power to do something about what you are encountering. In the verse four of Deuteronomy 31, it talks about how Israel 
even though they were had been disobedient to God, when they came across an adversary, he delivered the enemy unto their hand. He, he reminds you of the King Gog and the King of um, of the Amorites. You can read that for yourself. But um, God had proven himself to them because he had delivered them from so many things. And this is the God who will not abandon you. He will not leave you. He will not loosen his grip with you. Even when you make mistakes, even when the situation seems so impossible, he's not going to leave you. He is the one who goes with you. And so today I want to encourage you that even in your uncomfortable or difficult situation, uh, when you don't understand or are unknown, you do not know where you're going, know that God is the one who sticks with you. He's with you. He is the one who goes with you. And be confident then that you can be strong and you can be courageous. You do not have to fear, but that you can walk into that situation know that not, knowing that you are not by yourself but that God is with you. So I'm praying that you uh, experience some piece of hope today that helps you know that God is with you. I pray that you will remain steadfast, even though you may be in a season where God is being silent with you, but that you would cling to that truth. And when the devil comes to you to say, hey, you're by yourself, you cannot do this, remind yourself of this truth that God is the one, the Lord is the one who is with you. He will never leave you. He will not fail you. He will not forsake you. He will stick by you and he will walk with you as Psalm 23 through the valley of the shadow of death. It is not the end. You will see light at the end of the tunnel. Keep remaining faithful. I am praying for you. Please pray for me as I walk through my own situations that I will remember that God is the one, the Lord is the one who walks with me. You have a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you here next Wednesday for you refueling your faith. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.